Lesson 4. Polynomials. Conjugate root theory. theory. If polynomial pz has real coefficients and p a plus i b equals 0, b not being equal to 0, then p a minus i b, that is the conjugate of a plus i b, is also equal to 0. So we'll start with a, a cubic equation or a polynomial of degree 3 and that is a z cubed plus b z squared plus c z plus d is equal to 0. Now what we'll do, we'll take the conjugates to both sides so we'll take the conjugates to both sides and therefore a z cubed conjugate plus b z squared conjugate plus z z conjugate plus d conjugate equals zero conjugate. Now the conjugates of constants are just the constants, so we can write this as a z cubed conjugate plus b z squared conjugate plus c z conjugate plus d equals zero. And that means that a z conjugate cubed plus b z conjugate squared plus c z conjugate plus d equals zero. Therefore, z conjugate is a zero of this polynomial, of the original polynomial. Therefore, P A I B A minus B equals zero. Right, now here's an example of this very important theorem. We have a polynomial P Z equals Z cubed minus four Z squared plus six Z minus four. All the coefficients are real and it has a zero equal to one plus I. So it has a zero equal to one plus I then it must have another zero of 1 minus i. So we'll let alpha be one root, 1 plus i, and beta be the other root, 1 minus i. So alpha plus beta is equal to 1 plus i plus 1 minus i, which equals 2. And the product alpha beta is equal to 1 plus i times 1 minus i, and of course that's, that's also is equal to 2. So we can form a quadratic equation, and we'll see that the quadratic will be z squared minus 2z plus 2. And having established that, we can see that this polynomial pz must be equal to, well, z plus, uh, minus some constant times this z squared minus 2z plus 2. It's not necessary to divide this into this. It's much quicker doing it this way. We can see this is a monic polynomial, so this coefficient here must be a 1 to agree. So it must be a 1 there. Now, to work out what this k is, we notice that 2 times minus k, minus 2k, must be equal to negative 4. Therefore, k must be equal to 2. So z minus 2 is this one. So the other two zeros are, well, we've got this other one up here. So that all the zeros are alpha equals 1 plus i, beta equals 1 minus i, and the third one, gamma, is equal to 2.